to your right. Commitment to buy now. Because without the commitment to buy, Diego, what, what have you got? Nothing. You got no, nothing is the right answer. It's not good enough just to be really nice and gush about your product in your dealership. It's not good enough to be um, extremely knowledgeable about your product. It's important, make no mistake about that, but it's not good enough. You've got to be able to get someone to say, yes, I'll take delivery now. It's called the value exchange. What do customers come to Infinity of Gwinnett for? For a car, for a vehicle. They're either, they're either coming to get a vehicle service or they're coming to buy a vehicle. Okay? You guys aren't catching service ups, right? Uh, sometimes. Okay, well, we, if you're working the service lane, I, I get that. But as a rule, you're talking to people who are in the market for a new or used vehicle. What do they come to Subaru of Gwinnett for, Erica? Car. They come to buy a car. Nobody gets up on Saturday morning and says, hey, we could go picnic, we could go play golf, or we could go jack around at a car dealership. If they're coming to a car dealership, especially these days, they're coming with intent. Your intent has to be to help them buy a car. Now, I should have asked this question. Well, I'll ask the question. What do you do for a living? I'm in sales. I sell cars. You sell cars. What do you do? I sell cars. I sell people their drink. I sell cars. Okay. You, you got the, you were closest to the right answer. Um, Diego, do people like to be sold? Mm, they don't like to think they're being convinced into doing it. Okay, but so, but, but if you ask a hundred people, hey, do you like to be sold? No. But if I ask a hundred people, do you like to buy? Yeah. So why are you selling cars? Why don't you help people buy cars? I mean, it, it's it's it sounds like a matter of semantics, but it's really a mindset. Um, and I learned this about four years ago. I mean, if you asked me what I did four years ago, I would have said I sell cars. I've, and since then, I've asked thousands of car salespeople, what do you do for a living? They all tell me the same thing, they sell cars. But I met a guy, and everything I teach you, everything I bring to you is not theory. It, it, it comes from salespeople who are really, really good. So I get to pick the brains of lots of really, really good salespeople, really good sales managers, really good finance managers. That's where most of my ideas come from. When I was in the business, I was a, I was a good salesperson, but I was not a 50 car a month salesperson. I meet 50 car a month salespeople. I meet 60 car a month salespeople. I pick their brains. I take them out to dinner. I, I buy them a drink. Um, I do whatever I can to get, get to, to have them give me what they do differently because the I don't know what the IQ average IQ in this room is I'm gonna guess I'm like two or three points right below average but it doesn't take being a rocket scientist to succeed spectacularly in this business what it takes is doing things differently that that help people buy cars 